We're going to go ahead and lower the uh, trailer onto the ball. Um, you take the winch stand here and you go ahead and crank it down so it sits right up on top of the ball nice and snug. Once this up, you can pull the pin and actually lift the leg up um, securely out of the way. Um, then you take this piece here and you lock it into place and this actually locks the ball into place. Uh, you want to make sure this is one of the most important parts of trailering. If this is not locked in properly, the trailer can come loose out on, when you're out on the road. Be properly set up for um, trailer lights um, and if you have brakes, you, make, you have to make sure you have the right type of um, adapter here on the back. This is a four pin adapter, um, which attaches here to the back of the truck. And uh, you wanna make sure you have that attached. And you also, once you're done, you wanna make sure you check the lights on the trailer to make sure the turn signals work and all your lights work properly. These are your safety chains. You wanna make sure you attach all your safety chains to the, to the back of the truck and also your emergency brake uh, chain on the back, of the, uh, the back of the truck as well. So now we've got all the uh, chains secured properly. When trailering, it's important to use tie-down straps in the back of your trailer, which helps secure the boat to the trailer. Um, you want to make sure you, you uh, attach them to the stern eye of your boat and attach them to the actual trailer and tighten them nice and tight and make sure there's no loose um, rope um, hanging down. And um, once you have your, your straps in the back secure and in the front, you're ready to roll. Before you trailer the boat, you want to make sure you go through the boat and make sure there's no items that are going to fly out, uh, such as fenders or dock lines or canvas. You want to make sure you remove any canvas too, because sometimes on a, on a road trip, the canvas can tear. So you want to make sure you take that out and secure it properly on the boat. Make sure there's no coolers that are not strapped down. Um, if your boat has a T-top or a bimini top, you want to make sure you secure that properly. Uh, for example, this boat has outriggers and also an anchor light and a VHF uh, radio antenna. So when you're traveling, you want to make sure you're not going to be hitting these up against trees or bridges. So it's always good practice and you want to make sure that you lower anything that's on the T-top um, down so that you're not going to run into any trees or hit it on bridges. Um, we did this for the VHF antenna, the anchor light, and outriggers. So you want to make sure you check all that. And also if your boat has a um, radar antenna, you want to make sure um, that the uh, radar is the proper height before you trailer the boat. When the sun goes down, you can backing the uh, boat down the ramp, you want to make sure you go nice and slow. Make sure you don't ever confuse the gas and the brake. And uh, make sure you always have a spotter to make sure that they can check to make sure you're going down the middle of the ramp and just to make sure there's nothing in the back of you when you're backing the, uh, the boat up. Also, anytime you stop anywhere near the ramp, you want to make sure you put your emergency brake on just to keep the uh, truck from rolling backwards if you have to get out of the vehicle. Once you have the boat um, on the ramp and near the water, you can go ahead and uh, remove your safety chain and go ahead and take your winch strap down. Start to loosen that up. Once your uh, straps are unhooked from the trailer, um, you want to go ahead and make sure that the captain is on the boat and ready to go. Uh, the captain needs to go ahead and turn the battery switch on and go ahead and check the systems and uh, lower the engine in the water to make sure the engine is going to start. You don't want to make you don't want to put the boat in the water uh, off the trailer and find out that your engine doesn't start or you have a dead battery. So it's important to check all this before you actually launch the boat. Before you put the boat in the water, uh, it's important to go ahead and prep the boat. You want to go ahead and load everything in the in the boat that you're going to use for the day. Uh, put your drinks in the coolers, get your fishing rods on board, and um, you want to make sure you have your dock lines ready. Okay. When the boat is in the water and slightly floating in the back, I'll go ahead and trim the engine down, check the battery, and go ahead and start the motor. 
like everything's good here, we're going to go ahead and back the boat off the trailer. Once you've gotten back to the uh, to the boat ramp from a uh, long day of boating, you want to make sure you unload all the uh, people on board and gear, and get the boat ready to put back on the trailer. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lower the trailer um, back into the water, and we're going to go ahead and line the middle of the boat up with the center of the trailer and put it right in between the two guide poles. When the sun goes down, you can make it, make it good and live by. Once you have the boat on the trailer uh, between the guides, you're going to slowly uh, move the boat forward and you're going to want to have somebody up in front to go ahead and give you guidance to let you know how far you need to go forward on the trailer. Once the uh, trailer is nestled against the winch, uh, you can go ahead and hook up your strap and start tightening down the bow of the boat and pull it nice and snug to the, uh, to the front of the trailer. Snug, you can go ahead and hook on your safety chain. And now you're ready to bring the trailer out of the water. Once the boat's out of the water, uh, you want to go ahead and put your safety straps back on the back of the boat before you trailer. And uh, it's always good practice to take your drain plug out because it'll uh, remove any water that got stuck in your bilge uh, while you're out on the water. When the wind is here, yeah, it's party time. Bring a bottle, wagon, rackles, it'll soon be summertime. And we'll sing again, we go driving, or maybe we'll settle down. She's rich, she's nice, bring your friends and we'll all go into town.